that there is but one true living God. Mm -hmm. And he is more real than anything that you have ever known in your entire existence. He's more real than we are. And we as human beings take for granted so much. We, we pretend he owes us something. He says, let us be instant in season and out. We're, we owe him everything. This meal that we ate, and we said a halfway prayer, Thanksgiving, and there are people going through that trash can behind that restaurant where we so frivolously eaten, mm -hmm. and they're digging through the trash to try and find food this very night. Mm -hmm. And there are people starving all over this country the same way, and all over this world. And even more starvation is in this spirit. Because they can eat, they can eat off the street or a dumpster, but they cannot pray. They don't know how to get a hold of God. They talk like they do. Everybody's got a good talk. But when it comes right down to it, you're going to be facing God, the creator of all things, without mercy. Because you're going to judge yourselves by the words you speak. You're going to judge yourself. The only mercy that we find is in Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Uses. We're so wrapped up in all of these things, these electronics, that that's how we get by. We don't get by with God. We don't get by with learning how to read a map. We use GPS. We can't feed a horse and keep it alive long enough to get to the Derby next week because, well, we drive on gasoline. We don't trust any of God's creation for nothing. We trust man and man's design. And we all think we're going to waltz right into heaven and make God happy. My hope and my prayer is this, folks, because I don't know the soul of any man. And I find myself these days even questioning my own. For Paul said, you know, I, I, I scarcely make it in by the skin of my teeth. But how great was he? People don't love each other. We say we do. But we really don't. We like the environment. We might like the company. Something to do on a Friday night. But there's very little bit of love left in this world for each other. And we all think we're just going to make God happy. He says we have to be as little children. Little children. Innocent. Humble. <coughs> Giving, loving. I don't know many adults that are that way. I can't look in the mirror and say I'm that way. It's what we're supposed to be. It's what we're supposed to be. But I can promise you all this. One way or another. We are all going to give an account before God. Whether you live a day or whether you live a thousand days. You're still going to give an account before an almighty God. And if you haven't found the mercy in his son, Jesus Christ, you're not going to find mercy in him. I didn't want to come in and just start preaching, but it just it bugged me a little. When people are uncomfortable saying something, don't push them to say something. It's not their job to do that. Sometimes we want to push people not to say something. I get that. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, y'all. 
you're not careful, if you're not careful, you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss the boat because you think you got it right. You think you got it down pat. And you're just floating by. I love all of y'all, and that's why you're in my home. Y'all are my family and my friends. <clears throat> but when it's all done and said, in a few weeks' time, while some of you are still picking digest from your system, the mill's gone on. Maybe remembering this night, you know, a little ball headed guy kept running his mouth and wouldn't shut up. <laughs> I may be giving an account before an almighty God. And if you don't make it to that kingdom, I'll never even know you existed. You can forget about me. You ain't gonna matter in the overall spectrum of things. I pray you remember my family. I pray you remember me if it comes to quote that there's a reason to be that's worthwhile. But ultimately, I just pray that you remember God above all things. Only God is the one to be acknowledged. We give out trinkets, <coughs> strings strung on the end of a guitar, food, things from special places in the world, trinkets of jewelry, hugs, kisses. But all of it is so fleeting, so quickly goes away. So if I could, I'd take you all with me. <laughs> but I do want to thank all of y'all for coming out here, and I want to apologize for feeling so miserable, as sick as I am. On this day, my mom's birthday, I'm wishing I could speak Spanish better so that I can talk to you more. <clears throat> but this is where we're at. This is how this goes. And the whole point is don't be sad because I'm leaving or because anyone's leaving. We should celebrate. We should celebrate at those going home to be with the Lord. That's what it should be. So Merry Christmas and Happy <laughs> New Year and all those other good holidays that might fall between now and the next time we might get a chance to meet. I'm not going to have many more gatherings in my home. I'm about done with this. I'm just about done with all this. And, uh, I just pray y'all keep me in your prayers while I'm still around. And I ask all of y'all that are friends and family to please come around love my mom, help take care of my family as they would need help as they see fit. <coughs> I didn't mean to bring nothing down. I'm just in really bad pain right now. And uh, I think I'm gonna go in there and let her put this medicine on my back and just try and take it easy for the day. 
because I already know from here out I've already been instructed how it's gonna work and from here out it's gonna get a little bit more uh, I'm gonna be a lot less involved as it were with people I love you <laughs> I love all of y'all too I thank you all for being a part of my life. What time it's been, right? But please, promise if you can. And don't answer it now, if at all. But promise me, I'll get to see you again on that other shore where God dwells. I'm gonna go lay down and I love all y'all. Yeah, Happy birthday, Mom. <coughs> I'll see you before you leave on Oh my gosh.